Yes. Now, the Secretary of the Teachers Service Commission has struck out the names of a nominated member of parliament, Wilson Sosion, and his Kupet counterpart, Omboko Milemba. And uh, I want us to speak to Omboko Milemba, the seemingly outgoing uh, chairperson of Kupet on this uh, particular development. He's joining us live by way of phone. A very good afternoon to you, sir. Thank you for joining us here on a KTN News Desk. Let's just begin with your immediate reaction of this latest development from the TSC. Uh, yes, uh, I came from Dakar yesterday and I saw the developments that have been sacked. But I wonder why it should be sacked because uh, I stopped working for the Teacher Service Commission in 2009 when I was elected as the national chairman of the teachers in Kenya, that is for Kupet. Immediately you are elected, you stop working for the commission. And it's not only me, but also all the national officials, including the executive secretaries around the country, they don't work for the commission. So then uh, I don't earn any proceeds from the Teacher Service Commission. Now, moving forward, when I was going to buy for the Mohaya seat, as required by law, I also did resign. And after resigning, I'm also happy to report to you and tell the public that the commission wrote me a letter appreciating and accepting my resignation on, uh, on, 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 on that was on uh, 3rd of February uh, 2017. And they thanked me for having worked for the commission for a number of years, about 21 years, and wished me well in my endeavors. They asked me to submit certain documents, including my payslip, so that I could process my small pensions. And uh, therefore, I no longer work with the commission. The commission received my resignation letter, and the commission appreciated having received and accepted my resignation. So I'm not a worker of the Teacher Service Commission anymore. And me being sacked comes as a surprise. In fact, it's ridiculous that you sack a teacher or a person whom you already had accepted his resignation. Well, and some of the reasons that have been given for them striking out um, your names as, as a teacher, they say that, first of all, if you're not in their list as a teacher, then you should not be heading a union for teachers. I mean, what do you think about that kind of explanation? Thank you. So that brings me to the next thing. What does the law say about, so maybe am I being struck so that I don't leave the union? But let me interject first by saying that it's not the business of the commission to determine who leaves the union. The union is an independent organ which uh, its leadership is determined by the members themselves. But let me go back to your question. Yes. Who can lead a union? If a person of any trade can lead any union, even if he's not a member of that trade. That means that if the dock workers of Kenya, for instance, at mm -hmm. one time the Secretary General was Kiliku, Kiliku himself was not a dock worker. If anybody, if trusted by the workers of a particular trade, can be elected to serve at the Secretary General. Are you getting me? And I'm now quoting the Labor Relations Act. That is the law that governs the leadership of the trade union movement in Kenya. Are we together? Yes. Now, for any other positions, for you to serve as a, a member of a union or an official of the union, mm -hmm. it, say, it further says that you need to have uh, to be in that trade, in this case be a teacher, or you should have served in that trade. In this case, you should have served as a teacher. Umboko Milemba is served as a teacher for 21 years, and therefore I qualify. But if the members themselves, during their own uh, meetings after my term ends and they think they should change me, then it's well and good. But the law protects trade unions leaders in that particular perspective. Mm -hmm. I've been quoting the Labor Relations Act. So then, yes, yes, uh, yes, I, I get you very clearly. So then from where you sit, um, uh, do you think this is witch hunt from the TSC? Serious witch hunt? Why would you want to suck a... Uh, an employee whom you accepted his resignation. And why, in fact, I need, uh, they, they, they need to stop what they are doing and let them not politicize the commission. The commission should serve the teachers. I hope they are not being pushed by any political hand from any quarter uh, because uh, their mandate is just to serve the teachers of Kenya. 
and it does not extend to determining who leads in the union. So it's which hand and which I would want to politely ask the commission to stop so that they continue serving the teachers. We really have so much on the table of the teachers. The teachers are crying about the medical cover. The teachers are crying about uh, the, the promotion of teachers, the employment of more teachers. And even uh, the CBA we signed did not really cover the teachers who uh, were in lower job groups. So I think there's so much on the hand of the commission that they should not get into these other sanctions. So how, how are you planning to address this? Um, are you going to seek legal redress? Uh, what's the plan for you? Yes, we had already done that, and uh, we shall be uh, pursuing that because uh, the, the letter written to me for termination does not make any sense. You don't terminate uh, an employee whom you already had accepted his resignation. So it's null and void. It's not, it's not worthwhile, and therefore we shall seek legal uh, advice. Thank you very much, sir, for speaking to us here on KTN News Desk. That is uh, Omboko Milemba, chairperson for Cooper, just uh, speaking to us about the latest developments with his name being struck out of the TSC list um, uh, as a teacher and, of course, uh, seemingly being asked to step aside as a chairperson of Cooper, saying he's uh, reading serious witch hunt from the TSC in their latest actions. We'll continue to um, focus on that particular story that continues to develop and bring you all the details.